Hi guys, and welcome to our Kenway's Fleet Guide. So the main idea of Kenway's Fleet is that you capture ships in the main part of the game, and then you can send them to your fleet and send them on trading missions and naval battles, which will earn you a lot more money. So you can get over 50k if you're doing some of the most lucrative missions. So this is our fleet here. Generally it's best to have better level ships, so frigates and man of wars and brigs. So this is the main part, which is the naval map, and from here we can do ship battles to clear the routes. So you see this route is dangerous at the moment, and we want to get it down to safe to maximise the chance of our ships making it back alright. So we're just going to repair our ships, which uses gems, which is the currency in Kenway's fleet. And you can earn them fairly easily, either by salvaging ships that you've sent to the fleet that you don't actually want, or by completing missions. So we're just going to do this battle here, and this is a bit of overkill because we've got three man of wars here, and it's all completely automated. So the brig and the frigate will shoot at me automatically, and vice versa for my ships. And the only thing that you have control over is hitting Y or triangle on PlayStation to shoot a fire barrel, but you generally want to save those for the tougher enemies like the other man of wars. So you've got 15 available docks in Kenway's fleet, so you can have 15 ships at any one time, and again you unlock those by spending gems, and they get progressively more expensive, so it's good to keep on sending ships to Kenway's fleet, if for nothing else, just to, just to salvage them for gems. So in the ship battles which we're doing here, you can see there's actually bonuses here. So the first slot has a speed bonus, the second one has a firepower bonus, and the third slot will take less damage. So if you do need all three ships, then you can use that to your advantage. Put a man of war in the slot with the speed bonus, for example, because they're generally a lot slower. That was complete overkill. Okay, so we've won that battle, and now the route is safe and we also got a few resources from doing the ship battle as well. So now we're going to send our ships on the trading missions and each one has a different re reward and a different travel time. So the one I've just sent San Cristobal on takes 18 minutes and that's in real time. So it's sort of like the assassins missions that you could do in previous games. And you'll notice I'm repairing a lot of ships. That's actually because you'll see I've got 9,950 gems here and the maximum capacity is actually 9,999 gems, which is a little bit annoying, but the benefit of it is that you can always make sure your ships are repaired before sending them into battle or on trading missions. And then just keep doing that, and make sure you're going on the ones with the exclamation points, which are new missions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time.